Hey everybody, welcome back to the Joe Rockstar channel. So we're just a few days out from the second round of the Arizona Off-Road State Championship in Globe, Arizona, and if you watched the last video, you know that the frame on the 2018 Husqvarna broke where the peg connects. I don't want to say, like, oh, it should have not broke, but I mean, it really doesn't seem like this was really very strong for a hit like that, to break it like that. So AEO Power Sports told me that, uh, you know, it's a possibility that this could fall under warranty work. Um, I don't know. All right, filming while I'm driving to cycle skis and ATVs uh, to drop the Husky off to see what it's going to take to get that thing fixed. Hopefully uh, they get it fixed under warranty and I get it back soon. But CSA coming to the rescue. Now Husqvarna has agreed to replace the frame, but CSA has informed me that Husqvarna will not pay for the labor, and they'll only send the frame to an authorized Husky dealer to perform that replacement. Now it definitely needs to be noted that Husqvarna and CSA have gone above and beyond the warranty to try and help me get this fixed. Now a manufacturer warranty usually protects us against manufacturer defects, and warranties have time limits. For this particular bike, it's 30 days from the purchase date. Now it's not likely that Husky would offer to replace the frame unless they accept that the part failed due to a manufacturer defect. Now as a customer, I really appreciate that, especially given the circumstances. However, now I'm stuck with a bill for labor that's pretty expensive and it doesn't decrease the chances of this happening again. Although the estimated frame is free and valued at about 1600 US dollars, the labor has been estimated at seven to 800 US dollars. In order to pay for that, I'd probably have to quit racing for the season. There are 12 more races and the entry fees are about $65 per race plus travel expenses. Now I could easily cover the repair just by quitting the race season. Or, for less than half the cost of the labor to replace a frame, I could have a fabricator not only fix the old frame, but they could also make it stronger and less likely to fail again. All right, I gotta interrupt this video with some major news that just happened. While I was editing this video, I got a call from Cycle Skis and ATVs and they said they are going to do the labor to replace the frame at no charge to me. It's obvious that these guys care about their customers. They care about doing the right thing regardless of what Husqvarna decides. And that is absolutely awesome. And I highly suggest that if you were in the market for a dirt bike, a road bike, an ATV, or parts or, or service, you go give CSA an opportunity. Cycle Skis and ATVs in Tucson. Let them know that Joe Rockstar sent you and that you appreciate good customer service. Thanks a lot, Cycle Skis and ATVs. I love you guys. And I now return you back to your regularly scheduled Joe Rockstar video. Woohoo! In the meantime, it looks like I'm going to be racing the two-stroke. This obviously forces me to give the two-stroke a second chance, and I have to take this seriously. I can honestly say that after changing the wheels, ditching the mooses and golden tires for tubeless and Maxxis Desert ITs, there is already a huge and quantifiable difference in how this 300XC feels. Uh, if you haven't seen my last video, go check it out, because that's where you're going to see how I messed up the uh, Husqvarna FX350, and uh, it's going to be in the shop for a while, which has put me in a position where I'm going to be riding the 300XC uh, in the next race, maybe the next couple of races. All right, so, uh, the testing here at Marana went well. Everything's working out good. Uh, today I was a little bit faster than I was yesterday. And yesterday I was faster than the last time. And I think I said the last time uh, we did a video on the two stroke versus four stroke, I think I said it will take a miracle uh, for the for the, uh, for the the two stroke to win this fight or this 300 XC. Well, now that we're getting it dialed in, I gotta tell you that the difference between this and the Husky for me now is coming very minimal. 